A petition has been launched in the wake of a Hamilton man being tasered by police. He had a seizure at the time and says he is an epileptic. Now one epilepsy group is calling for mandatory education of police and first responders to deal with these types of situations. Here's our health reporter, Pauline Chan. Cynthia Milburn says it's not that uncommon for people with epilepsy to be faced by uninformed behavior. It comes up once in a while, uh, it more often than it should. For example, you should not try to restrain someone who is having a seizure. Instead, make sure you move away any objects that might hurt them and never put anything in their mouth to stop them from biting their tongue. This video on the website for Epilepsy South Central Ontario explains the different types of seizures. But for police and first responders, the group is calling for mandatory education about how to handle epilepsy. A statement from Hamilton Police to see TV News says Hamilton police members are trained to respond to medical emergencies since we are often first on scene. Our members receive first aid training, which includes first aid response to seizures. It is mandatory training, but Milburn says it's not the course offered by the Canadian Police Knowledge Network, which was created in partnership with epilepsy advocacy groups. That $25 course is currently voluntary. And it's a 40 minute video, and we're asking. With the petition we've just put out, could it be mandatory? The petition has been signed by several hundred people, including Marcus Charles himself, the man who was tasered. The course itself is specifically geared towards police officers, but anyone can take it if they're interested. Pauline Chan, CTV News.